Use a stud finder to locate the studs in the wall that can support the projector. Measure the width of the board to find its center and mark it. The mount comes with a template sheet that you can use to mark the placement of the wall mount, as well as where to drill holes and cut the openings for power receptacle and in-wall cabling. Using the values you obtained from the online installation guide, place the template sheet the recommended distance above where the top of the image will be. Attach the wall plate in the location you previously placed the template sheet. Make sure the wall plate is level. Because there are many different materials a wall can be made from, screws for mounting the wall plate are not included. Be sure to use screws and anchors that are appropriate for the type of wall you are installing on. Once you've attached the wall plate, run the cables through the mount arm. Make sure you have all cables required for the installation, including the power cable. Route all of the cables for your setup, such as the VGA, HDMI, USB, and touch unit cables. If you are installing a control pad included with the projector, you can route a CAT6 network cable to transfer image sources connected to the control pad's HDMI inputs and to allow you to use your finger or the interactive pen as a mouse for a computer connected to the USB-B port. The CAT6 cable will carry video, audio, and interactive data to the projector, reducing the number of cables you need to run. You can also route a USB cable to transfer images from a connected USB memory device.